All right, my loves, we're gonna be making bacalao. So I took the bacalao, it's pretty big. So I took the bacalao out last night um, and I let it soak overnight because when you get the full bacalao like this, it's very salty. Um, unlike the ones that we get in the in the packet, the codfish. So I soaked it overnight and then all day I just been dumping the water out, adding fresh cold water and you get the picture to try to get most of the salt out, okay? So we're gonna start off um, by boiling the codfish, the bacalao. But before that, I'm gonna use the rest of these eggs that I have in here. It's two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 12 eggs. All right, so this is gonna be a lot of salad. You can add more eggs, less, it's up to you. Let's start adding our eggs. Some of my eggs are cracked because I think my refrigerator is a little too high. So I see that some of them cracked. And my bok choy is frozen. So something is not right in there. And in goes the bacala. I think I'm gonna have to take some water out. All right, guys, I'm gonna let this boil about 15 to 20 minutes. Alexa, can you set a timer for 15 minutes? 15 minutes, starting now. All right, guys, so for the bacalao salad, you can add whatever, basically whatever kind of veggies you like when it comes to onions, peppers, um, different tomatoes, um, aguacate, um, acetuna, the olives, and things like that. I like to keep my bacalao simple, so I'm going to add, I'm gonna add a red pepper because I love red peppers and I think it goes really well. I was going to use um, my plum tomatoes for this recipe. Use a cherry tomato. This recipe, but you can add, add the regular tomatoes or you can add um, plum tomatoes, whatever you would like to add. Just make sure that when you, you cut the tomatoes, um, you cut them into a nice like, bite size. I'm gonna cut mine in fours, um, about like that. I don't like my veggies to be way like really big when it comes to the bacalao salad. I want to enjoy the bacalao. That one, it feels funny. So my, to just a quick tip, these tomatoes right here, they look like this. I am not gonna throw out. I'm gonna put them in, either leave them in here or in a Ziploc bag. And then I'll use this when I make like sauce or something. You can even freeze them, but I do not throw them out just cause they start to get like wrinkle and funky looking. Cause nothing can go to waste in this house. We have our peppers and our tomatoes. I boil the bacalao exactly 15 minutes because when I touch, you see how it's falling apart, which is okay because um, we're gonna break this apart. So start removing your, at this point, start removing your eggs. 
And you can start removing your eggs at this point. And then we're gonna drain the bacalao. So now we're going to drain the water from the bacalao. Right, guys so i'm going to take the bacalao and i am going to drop it in this ice cold water if you don't have um ice don't worry about it just make sure it's in cold water and i'm going to let it sit there so it can cool down and also you see that those you see that these are the bones so later on when we start to um, shred the bacalao, the codfish, we're gonna remove these bones. But for now, just um, add your bacalao to the water and let it cool down. And like I was saying, taste your, um, at this point, taste the bacalao and see if it still has a lot of salt because if it does, you can still save the bacalao. All you have to do is drain the water, the cold water after a while, refill it with cold water. If you see that the bacalao is a little salty, all you have to do is keep soaking it in cold water and draining the cold water and tasting it as you go and to the salt level is to your liking. So don't think that at this point, if the bacalao is too salty, that is ruined because it isn't because it is not. Another pina, pinitas. Now it's time to break up your bacalao, the codfish. And as you're doing it, you wanna make sure that you remove all the pina, the bones. You see these little bones? Make sure you remove them. You don't want that getting stuck in your throat. Trust and believe that. Um, some of them will be visual. So as soon as you see, um, some of them will be visual. So pull them out that way, it just makes it easier um when you start breaking it that none gets away all right so now just break it up and it kind of has its own little groove in the bacalao so when just by doing this it's breaking up in its own little thing this is what i'm talking about you see that all those openings right there just breaks out it's very easy but remember you're feeling for the bacalao bones okay I have a little napkin here, so as I feel them, I put them on the napkin. And a lot of times, because the bacalao, the codfish says it's boneless, doesn't mean there's absolutely no bones in it. Because sometimes there's vessels. So let's go. <laughs> okay, we break it up like this. And I try to do it in sections. And yes, my hands are washed. Curando tu corazón. Ella es una actualización. Como la del iPhone. Por eso ya no te digo nada. Ni siquiera esta canción. De que la nueva baby es una actualización. Tiempo, ya me siento agradecido. Que lo de nosotros ya no existe, ya no está vivo Ya no te quiero más De ser tu juguete ya me había acostumbrado Mil veces que ya yo Now it's time to start cutting our eggs, okay? So you want to cut the eggs about the same size that you cut About the same size that you 
chopped your tomatoes and your onions and peppers. We, remember, we just did peppers. So I'm going to do my eggs about this size, okay? Te perdono, por eso le doy gracias Hasta que hoy en día no te tengo aquí a mi lado De ser tu juguete ya me había acostumbrado Mil veces que yo te perdono Por eso le doy gracias a Dios Que hoy en día no te tengo aquí a mi lado Ella es una actualización Una actualización Por la manera que esas cosas se rebotan Se me están curando tu corazón Okay, so now we're going to add our tomatoes and our peppers. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna add olives. It's optional. If you don't like olives, don't add them. If you do, add them. And I'm going to add a half a cup of olive oil. You can use regular olive oil, whatever olive oil you choose. So extra virgin, whatever you like. And we're just gonna give it a mix. I'm gonna sprinkle a little bit of vinegar. This is optional, I like a little tang tang in mine. It's not gonna be super, um, it's not going to be bitter, bitter. If you don't wanna add it, you don't have to. Okay, now I want you to cover this with um, foil or saran wrap and stick it in the refrigerator. Give it about an hour. The longer, to be honest, in the refrigerator, the better it tastes. So I'm gonna stick this in the refrigerator and start my rice. All right, guys, so here's my salad. Um, I added the aguacates, avocados on the side, con los huevos, try to get a little fancy con los huevos. Um, and then I just threw extra boiled eggs because my kids like it, and I do too. This is my bacalao salad. So we're gonna have this with some rice, um, pink. We're gonna have this with rice with pink beans with a little bit of pork in it, which I love. And then I made some chicken on the side for the kids as well. So here's my bacalao salad. So I try to make it look pretty and I put the bacalao around and then the extra boiled eggs and um, try to get a little fancy with a little way, but this is it, delish. Yeah.